A committee has been formed to investigate the possibility of merging the Boardman and Canfield Fire Department. If it happens, it would be the most significant move of regionalization the Mahoning Valley has ever seen and could show other communities that regionalization could work elsewhere. A possible merger. It's our top story tonight at 10. The discussion about merging the Boardman Fire Department with Canfield's Cardinal Joint Fire District began last October when Boardman was negotiating with Canfield for backup ambulance service. Boardman Administrator Jason Lurie was part of the talks. It makes more sense to try and join somebody else who's doing it. And that way you're not reinventing the wheel and you're, and you're saving taxpayer dollars. At first I was 50-50. Don Hutchison is chief of the Cardinal Joint Fire District. And I sat down with a few people that I really know and trust here, that know the numbers a whole lot better than me. In the long term, it is the best of the best. Nothing's final yet, but the plan is to have Boardman come under the Cardinal Joint Fire District, but have Boardman maintain its own identity. So you would see trucks out there that say Boardman Fire Department just be under the Cardinal District. Canfield pays for its fire department through a dedicated fire levy. Boardman uses a fire levy and general fund money. How the merger will be financed is still being determined. We've asked the auditor for some assistance. Uh, we've contacted Ralph Meacham, and he's providing us with some legalese and some insight on the levy law works for districts and townships. The firefighters union of both departments are part of the discussions. We met with them and said, we'd like you to come back with questions and options and what you think would be good, what you think would be bad. When they're looking to hire people, it's one point of hiring. Uh, the competition locally with all these tiny little departments isn't there. But the uh, pros for Canfield is right now we have eight firefighters on duty. Uh, we would now have 15 available to respond to a fire. Lori can see other fire departments like Poland and Austintown eventually joining too. If this goes well, you will see those other communities asking to join because it just makes sense. Both Lurie and Hutchison say that public meetings with detailed presentations will be held after the first of next year, and they expect a final decision on a merger to, to be made sometime after that. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.